How's it going guys? I'm Dr. Zay, just out here enjoying the ride and uh, as you can see I'm not on Susie today or Kobold. I'm on uh, a Kawasaki Z750S. Um, my dad's bike. I washed and waxed and changed the oil for him. I'll just take it out for him. A little bit of a test ride. It's not my first time riding this, but uh... It is more on. Not my first time riding it. Why do I always get interrupted when I'm talking? But I'm definitely more comfortable with the bike now than the first time I rode it. be going crazy fast. That's a nice side by side. But I just figured I might as well just take it down old Spanish trail. Get a feel for it. More so than going around the neighborhood will. Let me have. this isn't my bike and all. But yeah, I figured I might as well get used to it. Might start riding around a little bit more. But yeah, braking's a little bit less than my DRZ, which is surprising. Oh, there's a cop. to get a feel for it. I'm not all that interested in sport bikes, but this is a standard bike. I think. It's kind of different than a full fared sport bike. So, I want to see how it feels. Plus 750, like that's, that's a whole 100 cc is higher than I've ever ridden. Um, I've ridden a Husqvarna TR650R, or no, a TR650 Terra. But then again, that one was a thumper, the Husqvarna 650. So that one had all the low end torque, but not very, not much horsepower. Not like an XR650R. The big red pig with all the horsepower. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. Um, now that I've gotten used to like the shift patterns and stuff. It's a little iffy out of the first gear. It's kind of hard to get this thing into neutral, I've noticed. Fine, don't wait. <laughs> Other than that, it, the gearbox is really tight. I 
is even more effortless going into turns than my supermoto. It's not surprising, this thing was made for the street. Zero Z400. Even the um, one that came supermoto from the factory, like. Still a dual score, just with supermoto tires. One thing I've noticed about this bike is that there's not much low end grunt. Um, I guess that's just because I came from a, a dual sport. It has all the low end grunt. That chick weird at me. That chick was also on a uh, tan app. Oh, it's nice and quiet behind the windscreen. people get in a lot of trouble with these. Okay, go up and turn around. Oh my gosh. Man. I'm taking it slow. I don't want to blow at the forks again. I didn't blow at the forks. It was the owner before we even had it. They put something on the fork and then it was like a sticks or uh, registration sticker or something. And then they scratched it off. It was like, really? <laughs>
another thing that's different about this bike. There's no fairies that uh, protect you from flying objects. Like on a dirt bike. No big radiator scoop shroud. No hand guards either, just bar ends. But, the only uh, reason I'd want to lay this down is if someone wrecked into me or if I absolutely had to. I feel like I'm going to get up to the light and it's going to change. Hey, what do you know? So, if you guys enjoyed this video, want to see more like it, consider hitting that subscribe button. I can't promise that there will be a Kawasaki sport bike in every single video, but subscribe and then you'll be able to see when I do ride the Kawasaki again. Uh, make sure you hit that light bucket, button, bucket. Yeah, make sure you hit that light bucket. If you uh, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Dr. Zed out.